Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Mango Etc. And I'm here to bring the review for the last two chapters of my academia. So the, from last week's chapter, I was um, I had recorded this before, but something went on with the audio. I couldn't bother to record it. So I just go through what I said in that video just quickly for you right now. But basically, as I was, what I was saying for last week's chapter was that we spent a lot of time going through things that should have been either just glossed over more quickly or just personally just not relevant and should have just not been told to us at all. However, I'm not referring to the every chance stuff. The every chance stuff is cool, like just to know that um how her her powers haven't quite reset yet, so she can't use them at present. I feel like that's relevant information because I remember previously I was thinking to myself, all right, cool, it's just going to be a thing where she's just used for plot convenience or just used in a way that's would cheapen this final fight between Shiggy and Deku. So to find out that she can't come into play right now, I was like, cool, yes, that's a that's a good sign, that's a win, if anything. So the chapter leaves off with Deku finally attacking so that we get to see some action within last week's chapter. And we have find out that he's gone into this kind of headspace. So that leads us into this week's chapter where we find out, so we now know that Deku has forcibly attacked and he has now got rid of all the previous vestiges of the one for all and is now only remaining with one and that's simply for, <laughs> for plot reasons you can go into this whole um that's simply for plot reasons because it is quite convenient that the one that she has left with is the is it grandmother of Shigaraki. So we go through this whole um, headspace of Shigaraki just getting into his mindset, mindset, sorry, a little bit more. And this fight has essentially become a mental fight rather than the physical fight that there was previously having. So we see him, you know, Deku within his mind, going through past traumas and all that, and just like a new twist on that because there's that bit where um, he's going to get hit by his dad again and you see the grandmother well Shiggy's grandmother hoping to save him kind of thing it's all a headspace thing kind of right kind of thing right now and it probably is going to end up being a thing where how the grandmother I think she's the seventh successor she was rejected that previously but now she will be approved and um is this how oh is this how we're gonna end end the fight? Finish it off in this headspace and there's no more action? Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. In all honesty, I really don't know how I feel about that. So I'm gonna have to wait and see how things turn out. But for now, it's still the usual complaints that I have with about the series, pace and slow. I feel like we are going nowhere very fast. But even if I put my pace in issues to the side I'm not really enjoying the series right now like we're in the final saga or the final arc whichever one you call it where the battles this is essentially possibly and this is another big bad comes out of nowhere but this is essentially Deku's last major fight for the series and I'm not enjoying it right, right. So it's for those reasons, I'm only going to give this chapter a one star. Last week, I do believe got a two. And I call guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please go to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.